Zach, take a look at that lie. That thing is gross. Yep. So let me set this up for you. Patrick's missed the screen, bounced out of that nice lush fairway cut. It's in the steep grass. What should he do from here? He's going to actually treat this like a bunker shot so he can maintain the bounce of the wedge and the bounce of that wedge will help the club slide right through the heavy grass. Nice, okay, how do you set up to do that? Yep, so Patrick, if you would, take your standard uh, pitch, pitch shot setup. So from here, what Patrick will do is he'll open his stance so it points to the left of the target. And as he does that, he'll actually open his club face at the same time. So now he's added even more bounce to the wedge itself. Okay, so that's it for setup. How about during the swing? Anything different than say a normal pitch shot? Step one is he's gonna make sure he swings hard enough to get it out of this heavy rough. So getting it on the green is a great result. And number two, when he follows through, he's gonna keep his hands closer to his chest. And that'll make sure that you keep lots of bounce on that wedge so that club slides through. Gotcha. So the bounce just keeps the club from digging into the ground, kicking it into the air, getting it out of the grass. Is that about right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Let's see if Patrick can execute this. Nicely done. That shot's going to get on the green. So just getting the ball on the green with this basic setup and adding a little bit more club head speed should help everybody execute this shot much better than they do now. Yeah, for sure.